Welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Milwaukee Brewers. Almost ready to get underway. And on the hill in this one, Freddie Peralta. Well, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he oh. gets real comfortable. Here's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. Two and two. Oh. And another ball. Three balls. Strike. And that one hit to first. Hoskins yeah. steps on the bag. One up, one down. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. One out, base is empty. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Contreras snags it for the second out. Here's Byron Buxton. The 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a miss. One and two. Missed. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Popped up. Moving under this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Twins are set down one, two, three. Now it's the Brewers' turn. It's a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Milwaukee, pitching in our game today, Chris Paddock. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, a pretty standard four-pitch mix. He's got the fastball, change speeds, two breaking balls. You know, all can be really effective if they're coming out of the same arm slot and really staying in that tunnel for a good bit. Oh, now the left oh. fielder, Christian Yelich. Got the back going too soon at strike two. And another ball. Okay. Now a screamer into the outfield. Buxton makes the grab on the run. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. And now it's William Contreras. One down, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. And there's a ball. 
Yeah, he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now it's the right fielder, Sal Fraley. At the belt and fires. Hit on the ground, might be two. Over to Correa for one. Return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. We move to the second in Milwaukee. No score. Second inning, set to go. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Max Kepler. Stays alive. And another ball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Now, Correa up to hit. One down, base is empty. And that one hammered. That's back there. That one is gone. A shot to the opposite field, and the Twins have the lead now. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. This is the future. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Next offering is in for a strike. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. And two here. Now he breaks his bat. The throw to first and two away now. Got to feel pretty good for the pitcher. Absolutely sawed him off. Bat explodes. And then he makes an easy play on it. Pretty satisfying if you're out there on the ball. Two outs, base is empty. So up next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. Two strike. Two out space is empty. Struck him out looking. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now a one-nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Human error. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the second, and the batter now is Reese Hoskins. That one is upstairs. Hoskins pushes it foul. And here it comes. Hoskins checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. Here comes a pinch. The 3 2 oh, is oh, off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Willie Adamas stands in. Swung on, belted. Kepler on the move, heading back. This one's going to carry, and it's gone. 
That one felt good, and they take the lead. It's 2-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. Garrett Mitchell up now for the Brewers. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Hey. Got it by him for the K. No, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it, from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That just misses. And the count is three and one. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. Santana steps on first for the out. This is Bryce Terrain. Two outs. And another ball. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. and miss struck him out and that's the third out but two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer and it's now a 2-1 ball game it's major league baseball on the show on to the third inning ryan jeffers at the plate and that one fouled off well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Got him looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Well, no, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Here's Alex Kirillov. And that one is lifted in the air. Freilich after it. And it's caught for the out. So the batting order turns over. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. And a curve is down and in. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one misses. And a count is three and one. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Here's Royce Lewis. Next offering is fouled back. But well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Two outs. Out to center. Chorio in position. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Twins wind up stranding one. They're down two to one. And 
as we go to the last of the third. Now the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. And a foul ball. This is the world you've made yourself. Now a pop up on the infield. Jeffers settles underneath it, hauls it in for the out. to the top of the Milwaukee order. And now it's Christian Yelich. Pitch in the dirt, two and two. Brace yourself. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. Pitch. Hardwired. On the ground, right side. Julian throws to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Two outs, base is empty. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. Up the middle. Throw on to Santana. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Nobody left for Milwaukee, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. Back here at American Family Field. Now, Byron Buxton. Pitch misses, and a count 2-1. Well, these twins do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And he deals. And that's outside, and the count's full. Bounds it back with two strikes. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Fires over to Hoskins. He didn't make things easy for him there, but they still get the out. Showed us right there why he's considered one of the best middle infielders in the sport. That's always a tough play going up the middle on the backhand, but what really made this play happen was that quick release, smooth exchange, and that was as smooth as it gets, and it had to be with the wheels going down the line. Inning number four. Bounced up the middle. Adamas the throw to first. Two up, two down. Here's Carlos Correa. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And that keeps the inning going. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. And a pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Churio pulls it down, and that is that. One left for Minnesota, and they trail it here, two to one. Ready to go, bottom four. And now the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Out towards left center, on the move. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The 3 1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. 
And that one that off the inside big. edge. You walked him. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow though, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now Willie Adamas Ooh. right through there for a strike. Kicks and fires. And he hits a ground ball right side. Santana over to second. What a double play that was. Inning over. Three up, three down that time. We played four. It's the Brewers two and the Twins one. Ready now for the fifth inning. Leading off, Matt Walmer. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, these twins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And now two and two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. And a pop-up on the left side of the infield. Monasterio makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now the Twins catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Now oh. missed. Doing one. The Twins down by a run, and we're at the top of the fifth. Oh, and another ball. Great one. That's hard hit in the line. Freeman makes the catch, and there's two down. Alex Kirilov, the next twin up to hit. This is off the plate, and yeah, that's ball two. And that one fouled off. And the 2-2. Two -two. Upstairs. Three and two. Out towards right center field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Garrett Mitchell. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Lewis calls it in, and there's one away. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jackson Chorio. The wind of the pitch. Two that two. one not close. The count now two and two. This one in the air right field. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay in there safely. for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. Just ball. missed. Two ball, one strike. Uh, 
Chorio stands at third with one gone in the inning. Lifted in the air, right field. Squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And they lead by two. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Next for the Brewers, Andrew Monasterio. And downstairs. Liner, base hit. So a two out now keeps the inning alive. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and lipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So the lineup flip. Runner takes off on the ground, right side. Slings yeah. to first. That's the third out. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Five innings complete. It's the Brewers three and the Twins one. Back here in Milwaukee. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Boop. Now it's the second baseman, Edouard Julien. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And that just misses. It's a good take. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Righty to the plate. And now it's three and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. That does it for Freddie Peralta. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. New pitcher now, Elvis Peguero. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Now the number two hitter, Royce Lewis. And the pitch. Could be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. Here's a two on. And there's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Ball three. Movement in Milwaukee's Great bullpen. Ball. Taylor Great. Clark appears to be getting loose. With the tying run at the plate. And we're at the top half of the sixth. And a pitch. Sets him down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Max Kepler at the plate. And a pitch. Hard hit, left side. 
The throw wide at first, and both runners are safe. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. And here comes Carlos Correa. Two on, two outs. Line drive. Nice grab. Bellalo's headed for the gap, but a nice leaping catch. He goes up. Perfect timing, and that will end the inning. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Brock Stewart. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the Brewers catcher now, William Contreras. And a swing to miss. One and two. The pitch. And another ball. Two balls. Two strikes. Not even close there. Full count now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the righty deals. This to third. Lewis. Throws across yeah. the diamond. One away. Bottom of the sixth. Now it's the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball there. One down, base is empty. Three balls. And there's a ball. Strike. Some movement in the Twins bullpen. Jay Jackson warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. This one popped up. Correa is there. Makes the grab. And there's two down. And here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Next no, one misses. And it's two and one. Two and one. Two down, nobody on, here in the bottom of the sixth. Hoskins pushes it foul. Kicks and deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Backed off the plate that time. Pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck, Buxton. Ranging back. And he brings it into the warning track. Oh, man. Amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Taylor Clark. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And now the first baseman, Carlos Santana. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. Fouls one off, two and two. 
And the right-hander deals. Popped in the air. Left field. Yelich makes the grab one away. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to him. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The Twins trailing by two here at the top half of inning number seven. And there's a fly ball deep right field back there. Tattoo to Tater Town and gone. He hammers one out to right. It's 3-2. Just relentless. This team will not quit. a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay Brian Jeffers the next twin up to hit bounce to the right Terang in plenty yep, of time to first and they got him Left-hander out of the bullpen, Brian Hudson. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Alex Kirilov will hit next. Looking to get the tying run on base. And another ball. And now the lefty. Cuts oh. out and misses. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. One run closer on this solo shot for the Twins. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jay Jackson. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Up now for Milwaukee, Willie Adamas. Ball to strike. And a foul ball. That misses, and the count is two and two. That's the third. Lewis. And they get a Thomas for the out. Now, here is Garrett Mitchell. Oh. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. one. One down, base is empty. On the line, base hit. around that pitch on the outside but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely and that takes quick strong wrist to pull that off and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion next to hit Jackson Chorio swing and a liner foul off to the right there goes the runner pitch is low throw to second tag in second. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Foul. We'll see. 
see another payoff pitch. That one hit to right. Kepler grabs it on the run. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Brewers three and the Twins two. And we're back. We go to the eighth, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Edouard Julien. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now one away. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one, any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has the switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something. Abner Uribe on the pitch out of the pen here. And next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. Just missed. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Byron Buxton in the on-deck circle. There's a strike. Good beater at 98. But boy, that was the pitch. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Got it! And now two gone. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. The pitch gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. And that one lifted in the air center field. Chorio has this one sized up. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Steven Okert. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And the batter now, Bryce Terang. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The pitch. Keeps the back going with a foul ball. Misses. It's two and two. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Fires yeah. across the diamond. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. One one now. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Walner sizes this one up, brings it in. And yeah, there's two away. Here's Yelich at the dish. That one, one misses, and it's two and one. Chase that time. William Contreras in the Milwaukee on deck circle. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a base hit.
Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Next for the Brewers, William Contreras. The pitch. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Out of here. He made him pay for that one, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-2. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. And he deals. Oh, Just oh. missed. Two runs across in the inning. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. This one pops straight up near the plate. Jeffers makes the play, and that ends the inning. Two runs for Milwaukee on the dinger. Last chance coming up for the Twins. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Joel Pyams. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Next offering is fouled back. Righty delivers. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind to the pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing oh. up. The shortstop takes the ball. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. That one misses. Now three and one. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Stepping in, Carlos Santana. In the air, out towards right center. Chorio drifts towards it, calls it in for the out. So they're down to their final out. So up next for Minnesota, Matt Wallner at the belt and fires. That one fouled off, two and two. The Twins down to their final strike. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Three, a little bit low. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Two outs. And they'll do it again. Right-hander kicks, deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. This is the future. 
Left hand batter waits. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. It bangs off the wall. Coming home. He scores, and now just a two-run deficit. Picks himself up an RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here comes a new arm for the Brewers, Obi Milner. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Now at the plate, Brian Jeffers. Tying run at the plate. Got him. Ball game. Well, big save. He was just starting to get comfortable out there after throwing a lot of pitches in the bullpen in this one. But a nice job of attacking the hitter, being very efficient. And this is what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to close things out as quickly as possible. A 5 3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shelby. Talk to you soon.